Okay. Right now. Of how the process is going to go. So, I'm going to update this phone, the uh, Inju Fire 2 Plus LTE, to the latest update. And the only way this will work is through a flash. Okay, so first things first, we need to switch it off completely. But make sure your battery is at a substantial charge, meaning above 50%. You're gonna want, you're not gonna want anything under 50% because if something goes wrong, the, the charge runs out, it'll break your phone and you don't want that. All right. And one more thing, you're gonna make sure you enabled USB debugging and settings, right? No. Mine's already on, it's showed right here. Hang on. If you don't have developer options, um, there are a lot of, loads of videos online that uh, show you how to enable developer options. So I'm just gonna skip that. So developer options. As you can see, DSP debugging is on. I have to make sure that's on. And, right. So we're gonna start with the flash. We're gonna turn off the phone. Power off. Okay. Just turning off. I've already downloaded my latest ROM that I'm going to update with, which is. What I'm going to do is extract the files that's in this folder. All right. So. That was inside the compressed RAR file. So I'm just gonna make a random folder here on the desktop. New folder, right? And just extract them to that new folder. Doesn't matter what you name it, that is that is of no consequence. Just remember where you put it. The easiest spot to put it is on desktop, so you won't have to uh, just struggle to find where you stored it when the program asks you for the scatter file. Okay, so now we're gonna go to our program that we're gonna use. I am using uh, what the what is called the SP Flash tool. I'm using this version for now. Works pretty fine with these phones, and uh, nothing's gone wrong. Uh, well, nothing that's not not intentional. Anywho, now we're gonna start. I've already opened my SP tool flash tool, so I'm gonna point it to the scatter file. The scatter file is a text file that shows the program where every component that's in the folder that is supposed to go on through your phone in into order and make sure everything runs fine. So you're gonna make you're gonna have to make sure that your folder contains a scatter file. It usually is called scatter tech scatter, right? It's gonna have a, some strange number but scatter at the end. Which I'm going to show you right now. Okay. Right. So we're going to show so Folder on my desktop that contains a ROM file is the new folder which we just created. Scatter file. All these, all these uh, weird names and components will show up right, right under there. Before we start, we're gonna make sure to click here, dialog, and go to and choose firmware upgrade. on anything else choose firmware upgrade because you don't want to wipe your whole phone if you go to full format you'll end up losing your IMEI number and that's a that's a big hassle and download only I did that um, a few, few days ago made the phone slow as fuck and 
Yeah, I had to redo the whole thing over again. Anywho, we're gonna start. So we're gonna click. We're gonna click the download button here. Now we're going to connect our USB cable to our phone. Make sure it's somewhere. as it goes along right? and when this hits 100% when this bar that I showed you hits 100% it's done so you, you're not going to want to touch your phone until this is done because you don't want anything going wrong All right so this is when, when this process is done dialog box will show up saying download complete right or well, whatever it says complete uh, only remove your USB cable when that dialog box shows up saying complete if it doesn't don't it, that means the software is not done yet and you might mess up your phone if you do remove it ahead of time you might break your phone and might not be able to use it again I'm not really sure how I'm not gonna go for a trial and error here with this thing because this phone doesn't really belong to me. It belongs to my girlfriend, so uh, I want to do a good job on this phone. Can't risk doing it. Anywho, that's the whole rundown of how to do a uh, flash with Chinese phones. Uh, this one is an Inju, but there are other phones like it that use the same principle. They're called MediaTek phones. They all have the same boards, uh, similar Android versions and whatnot. So, I hope this goes well for you. If, if you need help and something's gone wrong for you, hit me up in the comment section and I'll try to help you as best as I can. Uh, goodbye for now.